someplace, huh? Yeah, if you're into cold, dreary, and bleak. <sighs> Anything look familiar? Nothing. Dr. Griffith's office is there. Oh, good. You starting to remember? No, it says so on the door. Can I help you? Oh, hello. Uh, yes, good uh, afternoon. We're here to see Dr. Griffith. And you would be? Uh, Edmund Gray and Alexandra Merrick. I don't see an appointment. We don't have one. It's not for lack of trying. I've uh, left several messages with Dr. Griffith. And Dr. Griffith is a very busy man. Yes, I can relate to that. I'm co-director of the Andrasti Foundation for Rare Diseases in the United States, and I also practice, so I do understand, believe me. Yes. Perhaps we can make an appointment to discuss your foundation. I see he has an opening at 10.30 in the morning next Tuesday. Um, well, actually, we're not here to discuss the foundation. Uh, it's more personal. I was a patient here once. I see. No, I don't think you do. We need to see Dr. Griffith today, now. I'm terribly sorry, but that is just not possible. Either inform Dr. Griffith we're here, or I'll go through that door and I'll tell him myself. That won't be necessary. I'll relay the message. Kindly have a seat and wait over there. I bet she's in there right now complaining about how brash you Americans are. It's just what I wanted to think. We didn't come this far to be shown the door. Oh, it's so strange. I mean, I spent a significant amount of time here, but nothing looks familiar to me. Oh, I don't see how anybody could come here and recover from anything, quite frankly. How long has she been in there? Over 15 minutes. That's it. I'm going in. My yes. apologies. Uh, uh, how do you do, Mr. Gray? Uh, sorry for the wait. Uh, I was tied up with a lengthy phone consultation. Oh, we uh, quite understand. Thank you so much for seeing us. Uh, that'll be all, Margaret. Uh, you'll have to excuse Margaret. She's fiercely protective of my time. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you expected us. I mean, you received my emails? Uh, yes, I have. Um, but unfortunately, my hands are tied. Uh, I don't have access to Dr. Marrick's records. I'm afraid you've come a great distance for nothing. When you say you don't have access, Doctor, what do you mean? I beg your pardon? Well, I happen to know that Dr. Marrick's records were not sealed by the British government, as you had led me to believe. So they must be available. I'm sorry, but we only began computerizing records uh, five years ago. OK, well, prior to that. I mean, they must be somewhere in a box in storage. I mean, you wouldn't just lose them or throw them away. No. That would be negligence. No, of course not. Uh, we have boxes and boxes of files in our records room. But they're in a horrible jumble. I couldn't begin to know where to look. Well, allow me to help you. <sighs> we do follow protocol over here, Mr. Gray. I'm familiar with the concept. We have protocol in the United States. You know what else we have in common? The press. It just so happens that I happen to publish a, um, a magazine, investigative journal magazine, with an international circulation. You may have heard of it. It's called Tempo. I know the publication. You know, technology is an amazing thing, Dak. I could just pick up this phone right now. I could call my office, and they could start an expose on a private sanatorium that is refusing to give a former patient medical records. Now, why would they do that? Could be loss, could be a cover-up, maybe a scandal. Now, scandal's good. That sells papers. You know what would happen? Your private little sanatorium would be overrun with photographers and reporters, maybe even Scotland Yard. So you see, doctor, that's how we do things where I'm from. Give me a few minutes. I'll see if I have someone available to check our record room. Now, please, have a seat. I had a clerk check our records room. It seems Dr. Merrick's file uh, is among those moved to an off-site storage facility. 
Oh, that's great. Just uh, give us the address and we'll check it out ourselves. It's a warehouse facility and there's no way I can give you access. But uh, I will arrange for someone to drive out and uh, look for your file. So, how long do you plan to remain in Wales? As long as it takes. I see. I apologize for the inconvenience. When should we contact you again? Check back next week. Good day. Well, that's a start, I guess. Mm -hmm. Better get rid of us a little too easy, yeah. don't you think? Yeah, I agree. I told you my mother has a cottage right near here in the countryside, uh, just across the border near Bristol. So we could go there. Okay, let's go. You're right. Yeah. I keep thinking about that image of the little girl, Robin. Well, listen, maybe your mother can help you remember more. Maybe. So hopefully you'll be there when we arrive, okay? Lots of love. Bye. Did you reach your mother? No, I left a message for her on the answering machine. That woman keeps staring at me. Do you recognize her? No, but she might recognize me. Um, I'm awfully sorry, but I, I, I couldn't help notice you were staring at me. Do you know me? Oh, sorry, Mum. No, I mean, it is possible that we met before, because I was once a patient here. Oh, okay. I beg your pardon. Goodbye, Anna. <laughs>